I'm going to tie my 50-50 nymph, and I'm starting off with a size 12 nymph hook in the vise, and I've got a 332nd uh, gunmetal tungsten bead. I'm going to add some weight to this, so I'm just going to take maybe a handful of turns here in my lead wire, and I'll push that into the bead head, break off the excess, and I'll just kind of smooth down the, the end so they don't catch on my thread. The thread that I'm going to use is a 70 and it's an olive, so I'm just going to get that started here behind the lead and then back in. I can trim the excess. The tail for this is going to be an olive uh, pheasant tail, so it's a pheasant tail dyed an olive color. And I'm going to take maybe a half a dozen fibers and tie them in. It'll be a little bit less than a, a hook shank in length. And I'll tie that down all the way to the barb or where the barb and the hook would be and back up to the top and then I can remove the excess. Now I can tie in my rib and for this I'm going to use an ultra wire and this is a small ginger ultra wire. So I'll put that in, tie it all the way down to the tail, and then back up. And now I just want to make sure that I'm covering all of the wire that I tied in. And I'm going to leave this at about the midway point of the pattern. Now I'm just going to take pretty tight wraps of my rib all the way up through until I get to where I stop my thread. And then I can break this off. And you'll notice I left a pretty long thorax here and that's in part where it gets its name. Now I'm going to tie in my uh, back material and for that I'm going to use a thin skin and this is a fly speck in uh, a black and olive. So I'll cut off maybe a quarter inch strip of it and I'm going to tie the or cut the one end into a little bit of a V here to give me a good tie in point. And I'll set this on top and tie it in. And now I can bring and start to dub in my thorax. And for that, I'm going to use a prism dub, and this is in a hairs plus. And so I'm just going to build out a pretty substantial thorax to this. I'm going to take one more just little pinch here to smooth everything else out. And when I'm pleased with that, then I can just pull the thin skin over. And I'll take a, another wrap underneath, and then I'll just whip finish this. And trim the excess. And then also I can take this thin skin out. And now I'm going to take my bodkin and really start to pick this out. I'm not going to add any extra legs to it, but I'm just going to really pick this prism 
dubbing out. And then I'll just pull this down and I'm just going to take a sh straight cut at about the bottom of the hook there. Now the final step, I just like to take a little bit of Sally Hansen's and I just put this over the back because I really think it makes that thin skin pop. And I'll even put a little bit in transition here on the threads as well. And that is my 50-50 nymph.